It was Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. Rush hour in Singapore. Commuters were ready to head home after a long day. The hustle and bustle of the city was at its peak, with everyone eager to unwind after hours of work. Little did they know, chaos was about to unfold. An unexpected turn of events was lurking just around the corner, ready to disrupt their evening plans. The MRT East-West Line, a major artery in Singapore's transportation system, came to a grinding halt. The usually reliable service was suddenly paralysed, leaving everyone in a state of confusion. Thousands of commuters were stranded. The platforms quickly filled up with people, their faces reflecting a mix of frustration and concern. Anxiety filled the air as people checked their phones and watches. Messages and calls were made in a flurry as everyone tried to figure out what was happening and how long the delay would last. Getting home on time seemed like a distant dream. The minutes turned into hours and the initial hope of a quick resolution faded away. This was not just a minor delay, it was a major disruption that would test the city's resilience. The emergency response teams were deployed and MRT staff worked tirelessly to manage the situation, but the scale of the disruption was unprecedented. The city, known for its efficiency, was now facing a significant challenge. The disruption affected a large section of the East-West Line, causing widespread inconvenience and frustration among daily commuters. There was no train service between Boon Lay and Queenstown stations, effectively cutting off a crucial transit route for many. This meant that commuters travelling from the west to the central and eastern parts of Singapore were severely impacted, leaving them stranded and searching for alternative routes. The situation was chaotic, to say the least. Rush hour turned into a nightmare as people scrambled to find other means of transportation. Imagine this. You're stuck on a crowded train, going nowhere fast. The train is packed to the brim, and there's no sign of movement. The air is thick with frustration. People are checking their watches, fanning themselves, and trying to stay calm in the stifling heat people are sweating, pushing, and just trying to breathe. The atmosphere is tense and tempers are flaring. Now amplify that feeling tenfold. The platforms are equally crowded, with people jostling to get on the next available train. That was the reality for thousands of commuters. Long queues formed for shuttle buses, and the stress was palpable as people tried to make their way to their destinations. Shuttle buses were deployed to ease the situation, but they were quickly overwhelmed by the sheer number of stranded passengers. The roads became congested as more people opted for buses and taxis, turning the entire area into a gridlock. News outlets covered the disruption extensively, interviewing frustrated commuters and showing the efforts of MRT staff to manage the crisis. Announcements were made over the PA systems, but the information did little to alleviate the frustration of those affected. As the evening wore on, the situation gradually improved and train services were eventually restored, but the day's events left a lasting impact on everyone involved. What caused this massive disruption? Was it a technical glitch, human error, or something else entirely. It all started earlier that day, as the city was waking up and people were beginning their daily routines. Around nine in the morning, an eastbound train experienced a fault near Clementi Station. This fault, though seemingly minor, caused the train to come to an unexpected halt. While this incident was initially resolved, it set off a chain reaction that would have repercussions later in the day. The control room was abuzz with activity as staff worked to manage the situation. Think of it like a domino effect. 
one small fault in the system triggered a cascade of problems that rippled through the entire network. One small fault in the system triggered a cascade of problems. Maintenance teams were dispatched to address the issue, but the damage had already been done. The morning incident, though seemingly minor at the time, exposed a vulnerability in the MRT system. Commuters were left stranded and the platforms quickly became overcrowded. A vulnerability that reared its ugly head during the worst possible time. The disruption during the morning rush hour caused widespread frustration and delays, highlighting the need for a more robust and resilient system. To alleviate the situation, authorities deployed shuttle train services between certain stations. However, these shuttle services were insufficient to handle the massive crowds. Commuters faced long queues and wait times, adding to their frustration. Imagine waiting in a line that seems to stretch on forever. The clock is ticking and your stress level is rising. The shuttle buses, while a well-intentioned effort, proved to be a drop in the bucket compared to the sheer number of stranded commuters. Despite the massive inconvenience, commuters generally remained calm and orderly. There were no reports of major incidents or unrest. This spoke volumes about the resilience and patience of Singaporeans. In the face of adversity, Singaporeans showed their true colours. They helped each other, offered words of encouragement and waited patiently for the situation to improve. It was a testament to the spirit of community that Singapore is known for. Section 6. Deja Vu Disruptions Unfortunately, this was not the first time Singapore's MRT system had experienced such a disruption. In recent years, there have been similar incidents that tested the country's public transportation system. Each incident served as a reminder of the importance of a robust and reliable public transport network. These disruptions are a stark reminder that even the most efficient systems can fail. They highlight the need for continuous improvement, investment and a focus on preventative maintenance. Section 7. Lessons in Resilience The MRT disruption on September 25, 2024, was a major inconvenience for thousands of commuters. However, it also showcased Singapore's ability to cope with unexpected challenges. The incident highlighted the importance of clear communication, efficient contingency plans and a resilient population. This disruption was a test and Singapore, in true form, rose to the occasion. It demonstrated the country's ability to adapt, overcome and learn from such incidents. Section 8. The Price of Progress Singapore's MRT system is constantly evolving and expanding. While this expansion is crucial for the city-state's growth, it also comes with its own set of challenges. The September 25th incident served as a reminder that maintaining and upgrading the MRT infrastructure is an ongoing process. Progress often comes with a price. In this case, it's the occasional disruption that reminds us that even the most advanced systems require constant care and attention. Section 9. Moving forward together. As Singapore moves forward, it's crucial to learn from such incidents. Investing in technology, improving communication and strengthening contingency plans will be vital in ensuring that the MRT system remains a reliable mode of transport for all. The September 25th disruption was a bump in the road, but it was not a derailment. Singapore has proven time and again that it can overcome challenges and emerge stronger. This incident is just another chapter in the ongoing story of Singapore's resilience